Everybody, hey everybody, um, it is April 27th, um, and this is my 26th day in a row to do this. Um, I can't believe it's already been almost a full month of me doing this, and I'm really feeling good about it. There have been times where I get home late night and I just eat dinner and it's like, okay I don't, do I really want to go out there I'm too tired but I actually get up and do it and I feel great um so um there's that I just it's hard to believe it's already the end of April um and it's like supposed to be 95 degrees here it's hot <laughs> um but you know, it's also, you know, closer, coming closer and closer to summer. And so if it's already 95 degrees now, so I'm sure that it's going to be just as hot, if not hotter during the summertime. Um, um, so I've already been walking for the last half an hour or so. Um, so it's... A good thing and um, yeah um, I've heard that over at Magic Kingdom um, that the Hall of Presidents is down for a refurbishment right now and it won't be opening up until um, the summer of 2017 um, don't have the exact dates yet so I can't say anything because I don't know. Um, I'm guessing within the next month or so. Um, but I really don't know. Your guess is as good as mine because all they said was summer. Um, but they're adding the president, um, Donald Trump, to the Hall of Presidents. I've heard that... Um, that the that um, the animatronic is already done itself, and I'm guessing that they're putting him in just to make sure that everything's working out right. And they had to, of course, also move Obama to a different location, re probably rearrange a little bit. So um, that does t take some time to make sure that they get them in the right spots and everything's working properly because I've heard stories about what happened to um, President Lincoln a while back when he, he just starts going his top hat just starts bending backwards as he's talking so I'm pretty sure they're trying to avoid anything like that happening because um, I you know pretty sure that they don't want you know anybody to have that happen um so this is going to take some time to do that making sure that everything's okay um and let's see what else is going on um of course we have said earlier or a week ago that wishes is leaving on may 11th i do not know which um what they're going to do for fireworks after that. I know they're going to have fireworks. Um, I'm assuming because every park has it, or except for Animal Kingdom. Um, but I highly doubt they're going to take away fireworks for good out of um, Magic Kingdom because it's one of the most popular things to have see, you know, that they see every single day. And it'd be kind of stupid <laughs> to take it away completely. Um, because of how many people enjoy watching the fireworks at Disney and um, it's one of those things that when you watch fireworks and then you go see Disney it's just mind-blowing because um, after you watch Disney so you go like if you're watching the 4th of July fireworks you go see Disney's then you go watch somebody else's 
it's <laughs> not the same. Um, I mean, I'm not saying that everybody else's fireworks is bad. It's just amazing and how what the difference is. I mean, I've heard that um, that Disney's fireworks just for Magic Kingdom is one million dollars a night per night. That's what I've heard. I don't know how much truth that is in there, but that's what I've heard. It's because Pandora, the jewelry company, um, was sponsoring um, wishes, and I've heard that it's one billion or one million, not one billion, one million dollars worth of fireworks every single night. Um, so that's fairly expensive. I mean, but um. So it is pretty amazing on if you think about it. I mean, every they have three parks that do fireworks every single night. Um, we may not, they may not go off right on time because the weather situations, but they do set them off at some point every single night because it's too dangerous to leave them in um, overnight. So whether it goes off on time at 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock or whatever time they go off, depending on the park. Um, if they don't go off then, they they will set them off at, you know, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning if they have to. Um, because of the fact that um, it is a hazard and, they, you know, Disney is always trying to be um, safety cautious as best they can. I mean, they're, that's the number one rule there is safety. Um, so they're constantly watching out whether it's them themselves or if somebody else is causing the, doing something. Um, so they're always trying to make sure that things are staying safe and all this kind of stuff, so. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty cool to know that the wishes are cost that much and just for that one show for that lasts, wishes I think, believe, I think it lasts maybe 12, 13 minutes every night and it is such an amazing sight to, to watch. I am sad to see it go because my favorite part was when um, the evil queen talks up and um, mentions the magic mirror on the wall. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, but who knows? I mean, change is always good. Because, um, you know, if, if Disney had the exact same thing every single day, never changes, nothing. Um, then, if, you know, if you go there all the time, it will start getting boring. I mean, that's true for anything. I mean, whether you, when you watch the same movie over and over, it will tend start to get boring. If you go to the same, on the same ride, after a while, that ride will become boring. Whether it's Six Flags, Disney, Universal, no matter what. Um, so... Disney's always trying to change things up on things and um, there's certain rides that will probably will stay there all the time because it's just way too popular for to be taken away um, like Pirates of the Caribbean and the Haunted Mansion that's you know just two of the classics that will probably will be there for the, until the end of time until unless people start complaining about both rides and you know and they notice that it's never going to stop or it's go people are stopped going there and stuff like that then they may stop going you know change those two rides up but that'll be the day um but yeah so it's just pretty nice to see some changes yeah it's sad to see the 
our favorites to go and sometimes it's you know it's not as popular as it you know people thought but you know you just never know until it's done I mean I know that Disney's not psychic I don't know anybody who's psychic though sometimes I pretend that I am um, but I'm not um, I am far from psychic, uh, but I, you know, it's kind of hard to tell the future for an average, ordinary people. I mean, we all hope for the best. Every, you know, every, um, every choice we do, every thing we do, every single day, we all um, prepare ourselves to get prepared for the worst and hope for the best. Um, so it's true for everything. But we'll see. I mean, I'm hoping that the new fireworks show is phenomenal. Um, but you just never know. So it'd be great to find out what happens. But anyways, don't forget to um, like, share, comment, um, and subscribe. I want to go ahead and cut this short because I am. It's getting close to lunchtime and. My stomach is telling me it's time to go and eat and so yeah I'm going to go ahead and cut this short now and I will see you guys in the next video and love you all and hope you guys have a wonderful night or day wonderful weekend everything so don't forget to do do all that and I look forward to hearing from you guys. Bye.